And I decided to take the bike to work because I knew I'd get home faster. And on this lovely day, it decided to rain on my way back from work and I did get home earlier than I expected. I was so happy and I was like, nailed it. Literally. This is such bullshit. So I, I just arrived home and this is what I discover a freaking nail in my rear tire uh, That's not nice just to recap I wasn't recording at the time as my SD card was full and I had a lady merge into me. She didn't look she didn't look she didn't shoulder check it poured down rain I was drenching wet my boots were full of water where I can swim in it and next thing you know, as I'm lane filtering on the highway, on the emergency lane, I heard this little hissing sound. I didn't actually know what it was. I thought it was a truck because there was a, couple, a few trucks next to me and the, the air brakes were hissing about. And as soon as I got home, as I wanted to clean the bike, I discovered this little bugger right here. Uh, really, man? We're really? talking about throwing a hammer in a mix. You freaking throw nails and look what it does for you. So I am going to do an Adrian Nickelodeon trick. I am just going to double check just to make sure that no air seeping out from this uh, puncture, and I'll be taking in the I'll be taking the bike in tomorrow to get it fixed. Uh, <laughs> why? Why me? Why? So generally, this will detect any leaks from your rear tire as the air escapes and it will actually blow bubbles through the escaping air. So, let's give it a shot. Ah, it went, damn it, went everywhere. All right, so generally what you're supposed to do is actually spray it on the, uh, on the, the area that you wish to intend to, which may have a puncture, and it should blow out bubbles if there is ex any escaping air. See, no, no little air bubbles whatsoever, which is good news, I'll spray a bit more. Beautiful, just what I want. So, good news. So, I can't really do anything right now, yeah. so I'm just basically going to be cleaning up Eleanor, because she is a dirty, dirty girl, aren't you? I told you she was a dirty girl. And tomorrow I'll be getting a brand new and fresh tire with no nails in it. No nails! <laughs> and that'll be first thing tomorrow morning, which would be a second for you guys. Just one second. Nailed it.
Oh boy, oh boy, what an interesting week it has been. Today is now Sunday. Now this morning, on Sunday, my brother-in-law's dirt bike has just been stolen. We both must be having a bad week. We saw two people on the surveillance footage. They attempted to steal two push bikes, but then they took one. And then they saw my brother-in-law's dirt bike on the back of the ute and decided to take that instead because it was worth a lot more money. It was only a small one. It was a 125cc dirt bike, fairly small, fun size. And yeah, that was, that was stolen early this morning. So I guess this week is not for us. I did get my tire changed. Uh, I noticed when they pulled off the rear tire that it did not fully pierce the uh, the internal structure of the tire, so that's why it held. And top it off, it was three hundred and twenty dollars just to get it replaced. Yeah, pretty much today. Well, I was actually going to go dirt bike riding with him, get some good footage of that too. But unfortunately, all this happened. Would have been fun because he was keen to go too, but yeah. Yeah, it's like some bad juju this week. A new work was too easy. See, I have this saying, there's always a catch to the end of the week. And I guess this was it for the both of us, except his one was worse. So I think I kind of got it lucky right there. So now that I've gotten a new rear tire for Eleonora, it's just like getting a new pair of shoes. So basically, if you lose one shoe and you put on you put on a brand new one, you got to get used to it again. You got to you got to kind of wear it in. What sucks even more was those rear tires. That, that rear tire that I. I had replaced, I bet you that rear tire still had more than half of life in it left and that's what sucked the most. Hey, see, I'm nice. I love lane filtering. Dude. See, people like that I highly appreciate because they look out for us. I do understand that some people. Whoop, hang on. <laughs> your boot. Yep, your boot. <laughs> yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> That's alright. Well, that wasn't you. <laughs> Yeah, he did not know that, but his boot was actually open the whole time. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you what, he just made my day. Yeah, look out for the community. Imagine if something was in his trunk and it had fallen out everywhere, hey? Would have been a bad day for everyone on that road. I wish I was racing right now, I mean like look at this, this is for the Gold Coast 600, imagine racing Eleonora in here, right? this would have been, this would be pretty cool. Some people are actually unaware that we're 
we are legally able to lane filter in the state of Queensland. So I do tend to see a fair amount of people. You no, know, flip me off. F you. F you. So yeah, it's kind of funny at sometimes because they're kind of getting angry at me for no reason when it's actually legal. And then if you tell them it, you're there in the wrong, it's kind of a bit funny to watch. So pretty much every time I lane filter to the front of the line, I always check the driver's behavior just to make sure that none of them actually gets irritated with me going to the front of the line. So I know how they're gonna react when I pull something like that. Come on. Bloody oath, man. People nowadays, man. Sesame, front of the line. Can you give me some fish and chips? If you like the video, leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment if you guys want to say something. And if you're new to the video, hit that subscribe button. And I'll go, so I'll go see you guys on the next one. Peace. Yes, I do have holes in my gloves. This is why I don't have nice things. So baby, pull me closer in the backseat of your rover that I know you can't afford. Like that tattoo on your shoulder. Pull the sheets right off the corner of the mattress that you stole. From your roommate back in Boulder, we ain't ever getting